Kent Spitfires rather ruined Somerset's chances of earning a place in this season's NatWest T20 Blast quarterfinals with a 40-run win in Canterbury on the Duckworth-Lewis method. But with a game to go, one of these two teams could still make it into the last eight next week. After winning the toss, Kent lost Daniel Bell Drummond to the first ball of the night, Dirk Nanes ripping out the batsman's middle stump. When these two sides met in Taunton, Rob Key played some extraordinary shots, ones he's continued to utilise throughout this competition this summer. This was an excellent example. And after Sam Northeast had been dropped at slip off Nanes, Key struck two more maximums off Craig Overton. The Kent captain has learned a new way to play his shots from his time with Sky Sports and he's played them many times in what has been a superb T20 season for the experienced campaigner. He's found a brand new way to play his strokes. Northeast was matching his skipper shot for shot though as these two brought up the 100 in the 10th over. Northeast made his 50 off 32 balls and Key got to his off just 29 after he was caught off a no ball from Alfonso Thomas whose delivery was above waist height. It was a fantastic display from these two who put the Somerset attack to the sword in putting on 135 runs in 13 overs and a very big total was on the cards. Northeast was excellent making 73 of 45 deliveries when he lobbed a return catch to Tim Grunewald, who nearly made a hash of the take. Key kept going, however, and found his fourth six off Thomas as he moved speedily onto 72 from 42, taking his tally of runs in this competition this year to 370, with, like Northeast, three half centuries included. Key had a good chance of recording the first T20 hundred of his career but he failed to run his bat in and was run out by Grunewald, who showed some neat footwork. It wasn't the best bit of running of Key's career. With five overs of the innings remaining, the score read 153 for three, and with Alex Blake continuing his good form of late, a total in excess of 200 was likely. But Darren Stevens was then caught behind by Marcus Truscothic off Thomas, before Blake was bowled by Nanez, the Yorker just clipping the batsman's leg stump. Sam Billings was able to keep up the scoring, however, as he ended the penultimate over with back-to-back -back fours off Thomas, only to fall in the final one as a pull off Nanez found Overton at deep square. Nanez ended with three for 30, the last ball of the Spitfires inning, seeing Fabian Cowdery run out by Overton as he came back for an impossible second. Still, Kent ended on a more than respectable 195 for 7 from their 20 overs. With no Nick Compton nor Craig Keyswetter, Somerset opened up with Lewis Gregory, who struck a 4 off the third ball of the reply. But to the 4th, he got a leading edge off Stevens and was held at mid-off by Cowdery. Truscothic had made only 38 runs in 7 innings in this competition this year, and he'd added only five more to that tally when he turned a ball from Ben Harmison to Bell Drummond at short fine leg. Somerset lost three wickets in the first 13 balls. Peter Trigo, the next man to go at the start of the third over, Stevens removing his middle peg. Somerset were already a long way behind the eight ball, and when Stevens grabs his third wicket in two overs by having James Hildreth taken behind, they were in a mess on 18 for 4. So they needed something out of the ordinary from Colin Ingram, who showed what he was capable of by clubbing this ball from Mitch Clayton over the rope. But it was 34 for 5 at the start of the fifth over when Chris Jones offered Stevens a fourth wicket with a loose shot to min off. Stevens bowled through his four overs for the exceptional figures of 4 for 17 leaving it to Ingram to attack from the other end as he raced on to 37 from only 18 balls. Storms had been forecast after a hot day in the Garden of England and the wind really picked up which took the players off after these two deliveries from James Treadwell. Alas, that storm didn't relent either and so with a score of 59 for 5 midway through the 8th over, the game was abandoned with Somerset 41 runs short of where they should have been 
according to Messrs Duckworth and Lewis. So now both sides have 11 points with a game to go and both need to win their final matches. Kent plays Surrey in Canterbury, while Somerset are at home to Middlesex, while Glamorgan must lose their match in Cardiff against Gloucestershire. Then it will all come down to net run rate. So next Friday will certainly be a thriller.